Oh fuck, we don't need the guns, we need the factories that make the guns. What's going on guys, it's the motherfucking kid, here we are again with another Rage Against the Machine reaction. I think I'm gonna start a new series, uh, something historical, you know, looking back at old school stuff. Let me know what you guys would think about that, and uh, go ahead and comment some, some some suggestions in the comments. Before I begin, I do want to say, I recently had a debate with Dr. Heem Doubt. You can check that shit out right here. The conversation was basically about comedy theory and whether we, whether we should be able to make fun of our opponents. I'm also going to be releasing a single pretty soon. It's going to be super tight. It's going to be super tight with a legitimate producer and everything. Uh, the rollout's going to be dope. Go ahead and click like and subscribe and be on the lookout for that. love this course you know i'm rolling down the rodeo with the shotgun the bulls on parade came about how the animals are running wild bulls you know bears bulls uh, the stock market shit like that conceptual theme i guess you know like now he's um he's hunting for these stockbrokers and shit like that i like when he mentions mama's torn hands cover her sunken face the structure is set you never change it with a ballot box that shit is super, shit is super anti-electoralism. I generally like to be a little bit more optimistic about stuff. Just considering like what Cory Bush did recently, I feel like there is ways to get uh, our people in and change it from within. It's not just about changing it from within, but I think it takes the power of an outside movement and inside players working together to really get shit moving. <laughs> Oh fuck, you can't, you can plead the fifth, but you can't plead the first, kind of like saying they're not letting us have free speech, you know, they recently fired a journalist for saying Palestinian people were allowed, should be allowed to exist, and they fired her from like a very credible uh, newspaper, that's the type of cancel culture that people don't really talk about. <laughs> Talking about how Fred Hampton, you know, they're not going to get me, shit like that. And uh, talking about, like, the master's tools, you know, uh, it reminds me of that Billy Woods line. If I borrow the master's tools, like, if I don't give them back, that's your first clue. You know, seize the means of production. It's, we don't need the guns. We need the factories that make the guns. <laughs> I might have to listen to this whole album just because it's got Bulls on Parade and this one, this one, these are two of the best rock songs I've heard um, my, my whole life maybe. I think the album would speak more to what they're, what they're trying to say and, and you know just a deep dive into the history of this type of music would be great. There's this kind of like conception that um, black people aren't into rock or shouldn't be into rock and Zach De La Roca is just out here just existing proving them totally wrong you know <laughs> being a fundamental pillar in that genre I've heard a lot of things about him releasing an album sometime soon and uh, you know him them touring with Run the Jewels it just like makes it seem like more probability that they're gonna do it just because he puts out a lot of great material with them too 